nameless, ownerless, and most times in a bad condition. You can spot them scouring the city streets, sometimes alone or in packs, searching for their next meal. Kingstown, St. Vincent and the Grenadines is fast becoming renowned for more than just its cobblestone streets and its architectural designs. As within the last several years, the overpopulation of stray animals is becoming a menacing problem. For some, the presence of strays is nothing more than an eyesore. Their scrawny and mangy bodies making them look as if they are on the brink of death. For others, the strays are considered a nuisance and a target for mistreatment. The overpopulation of strays, not just in Kingstown, but across the country, has become a headache for the Vincentian Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, and they have been mounting a valiant effort to reduce the numbers by way of their spay and neuter clinics. Searchlight was invited down to the clinic, which is hosted twice a month, to see firsthand the process which prevents cats and dogs from reproducing. Um, spay is um, for females, dogs and cats, uh, which we remove all the ovaries inside so they won't be able to get pregnant. And neutering is for the male dogs and male cats and we take their um, seeds out and then, you know, they won't be able to, you know, again, make children. When the clients come in, we, um, we register them, then um, we give them a ticket and they leave. Um, the animals are then taken into the clinic side and then we weigh them. So the weight will go towards the medication dosage that they'll get. Uh, and it takes around about, say, 45 minutes to prep them. Um, they have to go into anesthesia and then when they wake up it takes takes about say 45 minutes to an hour sometimes with cats it takes a lot longer so I would say from start to finish probably about two hours and 15 minutes for each surgery. Dr Pike and Dr Jack they have full-time jobs with the Ministry of Agriculture and we hire them here because we don't have a full-time vet on site so we hire them they come and they would um, they do the surgeries for us. So they've been with us for quite some time. Dr. Pike, we're very grateful to have them because if we didn't have the vets, we wouldn't be able to offer this low income support to families for spay and neutering. Um, and then we wouldn't be able to help some of the dogs that we have outside, you know. With no official organization on island which can house surrendered animals and no laws requiring owners to spay and neuter their pets, the unsterilized stray animal population has spiraled out of control, resulting in what Nelson describes as a national problem. It's very, very difficult to survey stray animals because you'll go into a community, um, especially like say for Kingstown, um, and then we would um, get quite a bit of numbers. Some of the dogs are not stray because you have homeless people and a lot of the homeless people they have quite a lot of animals and they do love their animals. So it's hard to get uh, an actual precise number because people bring animals and they dump them in Kingstown. So, that, you know, they'll drive and then just drop them off. So it's really difficult to really get a census of that. The only way we could do that is if we can tag the animals, which takes quite a, a long time just trying to catch them. You know, some of them are not friendly because they get, um, they get a lot of abuse sometimes from people, vendors are in the way. So it's really difficult to do that. Um, but there has been an increase from last year in regards to calls and what we have seen out in the communities, there's been an increase of stray animals. It looks like they come out in the daytime when they know they can get scraps of food. You know, people give them like bones and that. So you normally see them out there. Some are heavily pregnant. Some have a lot of um, issues, um, mange. Um, some of them have um, broken bones, you know, um, either been hit by a car or somebody's lashed out on them. So it's just really, in, it has increased for us dramatically. If we can try and get the children to 
um, respect animals, um, then that's going to help the new generation um, in terms of being responsible and to know that these animals are living beings and they deserve part of this environment which is which is the earth they have a given right to be on to be on the earth but not to be abused for the vspca a problem as big as this needs many hands and they have been able to hold their heads above water through the assistance of volunteers students annabelle ziamara and genevieve all share a love for animals and they give their time to the VSPCA, assisting with the care of animals after surgery, feeding and cleaning up, or just giving the animals some much needed love and attention. The VSPCA is also assisted by medical students who are studying here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I was walking once um, home from the school and I, 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 uh, a stray dog started following me and I noticed that she needed help because she was not um, she was malnourished so my friends and I started um, feeding her and then after that like um, I got in contact with Janice and she uh, was helping me with uh, giving her like you know the deworming and all the medication that was needed. We had an incident where um, there was one dog that I was I always feed like every week um, I asked the security like why was she limping and it says like someone like um, hit her with the rod and, and broke her leg so I immediately like texted Janice and asked her like how, how can we help the dog like you know I had to take the dog to the bed and yeah they did x-rays on her leg and yet, yes it was broken he broke uh, the person that did this broke the bone of this dog. Nelson says the overpopulation of stray animals is also noticed by visitors to the island who often make complaints to the VSPCA about the condition of the animals in and around Kingston. They, they, it's very hard for them to come in and see emancipated dogs, especially in Kingstown. Um, they're always willing to pay for food and medication, but that's not, the, you know, they come in to enjoy themselves. They get very discouraged to come to St. Vincent. They said if they know that this is what the, the animals look like, they wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't come in or they'll say that, um, that it's ruined their holiday because they've come, some of them are in tears crying. And if the issue of overpopulation was not enough to overwhelm the small staff at the VSPCA, they're often bombarded with reports about animal cruelty, including intentional poisoning, cutlass attacks, as well as animals being tied for extended periods without food, water or shelter. The VSPCA will help to support them if they have a court case, but nobody seems to want to do that. One of the th reasons is that uh, retaliation that they may get from people, uh, not enough evidence that it's hearsay, uh, animals being poisoned by this person. So it's very, very difficult, you know, to get people to, to you know, take people to court, you know, um, for the abuse of their property, because that's what animals are in, in the communities and that they're a property of, of your residents. And the police have a right because of the law, there's a constitution law against animal cruelty and the police need to take that job serious. It's not just about drugs and violence and murder and that. It's also about protecting the animals that are voiceless. So I think the police need to really step up and do their part when people call to, you know, to go there and uh, investigate what, what the the issue is a lot of people think you know it's just a dog it's just a cat who cares you know it's, it's not important but you remember these animals are a gift from god and they've been created for us to take care of you know and it's an insult to the creator when we abuse the animals you know and people need to look at it in that positive nature might help them look at animals in a better and a more positive um, way the VSPCA has made it very clear that they do not intend to just throw their hands in the air and they are calling on all Vincentians to change their attitudes towards animal care and join the fight against overpopulation. Reporting for Searchlight, Christina Smith.